artists. And artists that we do have here, I just want to let y'all know again that artists can really give us feedback. So as each performer performs, it's okay to interact, to snap, to clap, giving words of affirmation, to stop, whatever energy you want to offer, we welcome it. All right, so coming up first to the stage, bless the mic, we have Donnie. Your womb, 
how everything comes from you and is stolen from you and is returned to you again in glory or in tombs. I can't begin to know your story, but praise you, black woman. Forgive us. Forgive us, for we know not what we do and all that we are still going to do. How we don't do right by all of your black sons. How they are followed all their life by the shadow of guns. And how your black daughters atlas the weight of systemic cycles yet undone. And how you still teach them to lift their faces somehow to that ever-present sun. Praise Brianna Taylor right here. Praise Brianna Taylor right here. Praise you, black woman, how you still raise continents of sons and daughters, despite their predisposition to being slaughtered, how the Atlantic Ocean is still found in your transatlantic tears. The salt of you, betrayed and splayed out, creating lands under your feet from all your centuries of grief. Praise you as homeland. Praise you as shore of a brighter world. Praise the holy map of you. Praise the north star that hangs from your earlobe like a pearl. Praise you, black mama, how you hold the world. Praise your swaddle and thick body, your warmth and your song. How you lullaby the night with a defiant hope. Praise your hope. Praise your dreams. Praise the scripture of your face. Praise the lines on your hands and crow's feet hymns. How they make an altar of your tongue so that my words are poetic reparation. Burn not chakra and sage in praise of your fire. Praise be your fire. Praise your persistence and your resistance. Praise how you harry your children to a new freedom. Praise how you rose us until someone else offers you a seat at that table. Praise how you audra, deliberate and afraid of nothing. Praise how you Maya, rising and phenomenal. Praise how I had a sister who named her daughter Revolution. Praise you, black woman. Praise you how your heroes and saints speak to you from the edge of the world. How your ancestors tell you that the mountaintop is near, how every step toward freedom is emblazoned in your DNA, encoded in your retaliations of black joy. Praise your black joy. Praise your black joy. Praise you, black woman, because you never be praised enough. Praise your hips. Praise your thighs. Praise your arms and your legs. Praise your back and your head. Praise your arms, your neck, and the tight ass shoulders. Praise your temples and how your whole beautiful black woman body is a temple. I'm going to say that again. Your whole beautiful black woman body is a temple. Praise you, black temple. Praise your knees and your elbows, your fingers and toes. Praise your perfect black nose and your perfect lips. Praise your voice that sings and hums and hallelujahs. Praise your voice that shouts for justice, that leads us all to shout beside you, Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Sister, praise you. Praise your heart for all that you bear. Praise your ears for all that you hear. Praise your eyes for all that you see, how your eyes and ears sometimes bring you your biggest fears, and yet somehow you soldier on. Praise you, black woman. I don't know how you be that strong. I just don't know how you be that strong. This praise poem could go on and on and on because you never be praised enough. Thank you. Um, I just would like to go ahead and take this moment to recognize the people that have supported this part.
Well, yes. So, give it up for Apollo. Uh, I'm not sure if everyone can see me in my video. I'm not receiving any video. Um, I believe we can, Dr. McFerguson. Okay, so just go ahead. Okay. Go right on ahead. All right, so uh, greetings, everyone. My name is uh, Dr. Marquis McFerguson, also known as Apollo. Uh, I am in bright and sunny Florida. Uh, and since it's Black History Month, I do work at uh, Florida Atlantic University, but since it's Black History Month, I'm definitely representing FAMU. Um, I wanna say thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak with you uh, this evening. Uh, I wanna give a couple of quick shout outs. Uh, shout out to Christina Shutt for um, allowing me to be the February um, Black History Month artist, uh, February Artist of the Month. Um, also, Ke Keontae Fletcher, uh, Brian Rogers for allowing me to uh, be in uh, your lives tonight, but then also working to put together events like the Artist Talk and uh, being able to speak with uh, uh, students at the University of Arkansas Little Rock. And last but not least, uh, shout out to Courtney Bradford, who actually gave me my tour of the Mosaic Templars archives and uh, and also uh, Kristen Stanley for making all these technological things possible. So I will get into the poetry now. Um, as the artist of the month, I had the opportunity to create a small book of poetry and writing prompts for high school and middle school students that explored black history and in particular, uh, black Arkansans. Um, and my goal for the poetry that I'm gonna share with you tonight and it's in the book was to give the students an overview of black history that goes beyond Malcolm X and uh, Martin Luther King. Because I think a lot of times when uh, we do Black History Month in our schools, we rarely go uh, past those places or those individuals, which I do believe they should be praised, but there are uh, there's a lot of black excellence uh, to go around. So um, when I got the chance to tour the museum archives, I was overwhelmed by how beautiful and dynamic our history is uh, as Black Arkansans. There were so many people and groups of people that I had never had the opportunity to learn about. For instance, um, the North Florida Rock Six. Um, I, I, I actually found out about the North Florida Rock Six when I was researching to do a poem about the Little Rock Nine. Um, and it's funny, the North Florida Rock Six, if you don't know, uh, were a group of young men who attempted to integrate North Florida Rock High School, uh, which was, um, a couple of days after cent uh, the Central, um, the Little Rock Central students tried to desegregate Little Rock Central. And it's interesting, I have family members who live in North Little Rock and I call them and I ask them, have they ever heard of the North Little Rock Six? And so many of them said they had never heard of them. So um, if you don't know about the North Little Rock Six, please uh, start to try to do your research and learn about those individuals. Also, um, another individual, shout out to uh, Courtney Bradford once again, uh, who put me up on Sue Cowan Williams, which a lot of people, I, you know, I he heard of the name, I knew she had, Sue Cowan Williams had a library in her honor uh, in the Central Arkansas Library Systems, you know, a library named after her. However, um, when you begin to delve into who Sue Cowan Williams was and how she was um, a pivotal part of making sure that black educators got paid, uh, paid just as much as their white colleagues, um, how she was active in not only in her church, but also in her sorority and helped start chapters of a sorority. Um, she was a dynamic figure. And so it was one of those people, I was like, well, why didn't I learn about her in school, especially since she impacted the school district that you know I was a part of. Um, and so now I will share with you two poems that are part of the 
um, book of poetry that I wrote for the high school and middle school students. Um, and they were both kind of spotlight and highlight the work of our Kansans that we often uh, don't hear about. And so the first person is Sister Rosetta Tharp, uh, who was born in the, uh, out there CPT, which a lot of people call Cotton Plant, Arkansas. Um, if you don't know who Sister Rosetta Tharp is, um, I guarantee you, you have heard people who she, who she influenced. Um, a lot of people credit Rosetta Tharp for influencing who they became as musicians. So for instance, her influences include, people she influenced include, include Little Richard, Chuck Berry, uh, Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, Aretha Franklin, Isaac Hayes. Uh, she's actually, Rosetta Tharp is actually uh, in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and the Blues Hall of Fame. Uh, and she is a gospel legend. Um, she was such a dynamic figure. However, the, the poem, um, the writing prompt I made for her was called The Music Legend You Never Heard About because she was one of the first people who was credited with making a rock and roll song. Um, she also was one of the first pioneers who made it cool to play electric guitar. Um, and with all these different things that she did, um, the poem that I came up with her, the, the title of the poem I came with her, came up with is, um, is how bright, uh, how bright you shine, because we often forget how bright she shines. So here it is, a uh, poem for Sister Rosetta Tharp, Arkansas Zone. You played alongside the likes of Count Basie, Dizzy Gillespie, and Cab Calloway. You were a legend among legends, a queen equal to the kings, audiences, marveled at how your fingertips made guitar strings sing. You were a star, a constellation of confidence. However, sometimes history forgets how bright you shine. You were a musical icon, a blues hall of fame and gospel legend. Some even credit you with creating the first rock and roll record. However, sometimes history forgets how bright you shine. You were a legend to the legends, a trendsetter and genre-bending pioneer, Aretha Franklin and Johnny Cash acknowledge the artistic impact you had on their career. Your influence on the music world is so enormous that even Elvis Presley and Chuck Berry got their style from copying your stage performance. However, sometimes we forget how bright you shine. At times during your performances, you will look toward the ceiling and and a smile of satisfaction would be painted on the canvas of your lips. It was as if you were watching God give you a standing ovation. Today, we will not forget how bright you shine. And so that was a, a poem for Sister Rosetta Tharp. Um, once again, she, a lot of times we remember like those, the kings of rock and roll, uh, Chuck Berry, and some people even say Elvis Presley, I'm not gonna talk about that. Um, but it was actually a queen that made those kings possible and made, made and helped them become who they were. So I think a lot of times in history, the women who have paved the way for so many often get overlooked. And so I wrote that poem because I believe Rosetta Tharp was one of the most influential, one of the most influential people in American popular culture when it comes to music, not just black popular culture, but American popular culture. Um, the next person, I would do a poem about is actually uh, Pharaoh Sanders. And I actually learned about Pharaoh Sanders um, when I was researching Art Porter, because I believe Art Porter is one of those musicians that even if you're not a musician in Arkansas, you kind of know uh, his, his, uh, his lineage, his impact on the world of music. Um, but one of those lesser known people um, is Pharaoh Sanders. And in particular, Pharaoh Sanders, if you don't know him, played with the likes of John Coltrane, Alice Coltrane, Sun Ra. He produced over 30 music, music albums and he toured, he has toured the globe. Uh, and he's from Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, and the, the beautiful thing about it, it is he's, uh, in his later years now, but he's still alive. And some people even say that he is the greatest tenor saxophonist ever to play the horn. Um, so this poem, uh, is for Pharaoh Sanders. Um, and he was very deep into Afrofuturism and spirituality. And so this is called intergalactic jazz. Um, this Pharaoh was not born in Egypt. However, he is still royalty, a king of creativity. During interviews, you are gentle and soft spoken. However, on stage, you have the power to move people's emotions. 
with the same force that a tsunami moves an ocean. You exist somewhere between the Afro Afrofuturistic and the mystical, the intergalactic and the spiritual. Your albums are like solar systems of creativity, composed out of jazz notes. Playing with John Coltrane gave the audience, gave the world a telescope to view your brilliance. The moon child, who provided listeners with a celestial experience and traveled the globe sharing his music and his soul. When I hear your music, my attention is held captive. Goosebumps resurrect themselves on the surface of my skin. I get the, that feeling that you get when you hear a musician putting their heart into the music they are making. It's breathtaking. You are a legendary visionary. Some musicians saw where jazz had been. Pharaoh Sanders saw where it could go and could be. Some music, musicians took jazz to a new level, but Pharaoh Sanders took it to a new galaxy. So that is my poem, uh, Intergalactic Jazz for Pharaoh Sanders. Um, and once again, if I can say anything, um, if you have an opportunity, please, please visit the Mosaic Templars Cultural Center to learn about our rich, Arkansas black history. There were so many people um, that have impacted the life that you live today, um, that what we don't know about um, their their hair, uh, their history and the impact that they had on Arkansas and sometimes even the globe. Um, the last two people that I had an opportunity to write about uh, in the book of poetry that were not Arkansans were um, Bayard Rustin, who is a lot of people don't know about Bayard Rustin and the impact he had on the civil rights movement. But I, in the poem, I talk about how he was the person who gave um, Martin Luther King the platform to give the world his I have a dream speech because Martin Luther King gave this speech at the March on Washington and the March on Washington wasn't possible without Bayard Rustin. The uh, last person that I wrote about was actually Shirley Chisholm, which I talk about how she paved the way for Kamala uh, Harris and also Barack Obama. And a lot of times we don't, you know, get a chance to learn about her and the how she changed politics uh, for black people. And this was a, a black woman, you know, who ran for president uh, way before it was cool. Um, so if you get a chance, please learn more about those individuals. And um, I am Marquise McFerguson, um, your Mosaic Templars February Artist of the Month. I wish I could be there with you. I love you and I thank you for listening.
all rose complete maybe a year and a half later after it was very, very exciting. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Moved on, it's a new day, it's a new life, and I'm feeling good. The enemy has his way of creating a slave, but a dangerous slave, yeah, a slave that believes he is better off that way, working my ass off for existence that holds imaginary value, just so the system can create new ways to literally take it from me, and I agree to this. I tell my children not to believe in fairy tales while I participate in the biggest, voting for legislation that weigh on my emotions like chess pieces. But one day, everything's gonna change. Manipulating my brain with false promises, will I still lose the game of all the other players forfeit? Convincing me to pay my dues to organizations I don't want to be in, heavy or the chains of a free man. Sometimes, free requires you to become your own hero. I mean, they say ain't no keys to check. I'm so sorry. The enemy has his way of creating a slave, but a dangerous slave be that slave that believes he is better off that way. Working my butt off for existence to hold imaginary value just so the system can create new ways to literally take it from me. And I agree to this. I'll tell my children not to believe in fairy tales while I participate in the biggest, voting for legislation that weigh on my emotions like chess pieces. But one day, everything's gonna change. Manipulating my brain with false promises will I still lose this game of all the other players forfeit. Convincing me to pay my dues to organizations I don't want to be in. Heaven with the chains of a free man, they say. Ain't no such thing as freedom. The government says, ain't no such thing as piracy like how I can catch them with their pants down and they can still decide to embarrass me. I'm feeling like Sarah Barton when Ray Captain living is so infatuated with me felon, but I am not just another black woman you can take advantage of or cut a tax break just as long as she sells out myself or even the black man. And no, by the way, Justice to the black man whose innocence was predetermined by whatever personality the judge saw on TV earlier that day. Overstanding him committing no more defense and still finds you guilty. Guilty on all accounts alleged against him, but most importantly, guilty for thinking he could have done something to convince your honor to agree with him. This system is just a power trip. In heaven, where the chains of a free man, they say, ain't no such thing as freedom. The government said, ain't no such thing as privacy, like how I can test them with their pants down. I said, I'm feeling like so woman and the captain is just so infatuated with me feeling, but I am not just another black woman who can take advantage of or cut a tax break just as long as she still by myself or even the black man. And justice to the black man who's innocent and free to about whatever personality the judge saw on TV earlier that day, or standing and committing on your defense and still find you guilty. Guilty on all the counts unless you get some most importantly. Guilty for thinking he could have done something to convince your honor to agree with him. This system is such a power trip and heavy with the chains of a free man. They say, is you about a fight or a trend? You're doing too good here, we ain't recording. Nobody's gonna tell your story. Meanwhile, these black biographies are being already written. Words and views the regulation to destroy. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you.
It's hard coming from a place where it's hard to make it out. Everybody's struggling despite their own doubts. See, I remember talking to the Lord and I asked him about my days and I said, God, will I make it to the top? Will I get carried to another grave? He said, yeah, I just want to live. I just want to be free. See, I'm tired of being locked up in these cages we can't see. See, because you is all we need. Love is all we got. See, what you're for, what do you got me wondering? Whatever's wrong. Like when I came to Queen, that was not being gunned down and being shot at you. Sometimes I feel like something up is cool. I don't know what to do. I just sit there, stuck in confused. See, what all I really want to do is help the ones that's trapped in the trap and the ones that want to make it out too, because we all got stars. We all have been rules. But we can't let that make us forget that we got something special that we can forget too. So if you're listening, let me help you. Maybe you can help me. See, and then it can be as always meant to be. Then we'll be free. It's going to be free. Thank you.
the color purple that we saw as our eyes were watching God. When we first heard the cage bird sing in the warmth of other songs, from the black papers to the ISIS papers, from freedom to segregation to integration to uncolonization, from Dr. Neely to Dr. John Kennedy to Dr. Ben to Dr. Ames. See, we come from a long lineage of all types of greatness. From this black history, we can now imagine a new future black nation. You see, we are engulfed in a legacy that shows what our faith can do for us. When we didn't have nothing else, we had the downloads and the prayers of the ancestors and we let that move us. No matter what happened or the things that we've seen or other things that happened to us, we learned from our warriors like Cecile Fatima, whose prayers made the earth shake all the way to our rest of Uber. May we always know home because our spirit lives eternally. May we get into ourselves purposefully so that we can come together and work. New history, new vision, new vision for our children, new values for our community. Our history gives way to innovate new anomalies for a sustainable future to be created, where we can insert our own autonomy. Everybody is on the way, but I hear home standing calling. Mm -hmm. And if you plan to go too, then you can just follow. Home is standing calling. If you go, you can follow. I will call and wait the night to tell your soul that it's time to fight. Take your life, take your life, and bring it on. When I call and say, come on, get your things so we can go. Find our way. Find our way, a way back home. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, are y'all still with me? Are y'all having this time? Yeah. All right. Everybody can still tune in. I hope you are enjoying it and leave a comment. So up next, our last performer, we have Sean Drea Murphy Washington. <laughs> Past the Jim Crow South and next 
whatever this is. <laughs> we did not begin our history in bondage, and that is not where we shall be our hands. We prevail. We the call to take the burdens through dreams no longer the burden through any means necessary. <laughs> Thank you again, and have a good day.